If you've ever wondered whether a bot can trade better than you and actually help you build wealth without watching charts all day, stay tuned. What's up, Option Alpha fam? Yes, you're on the right channel. No, I'm not one of the handsome faces you were expecting, but I am the equally obsessed options lover. My name is Ariane. I am new to the crew here at Option Alpha. And I'm still kind of geeking out that I get to be a part of this team because funny enough, many years ago, I actually started here as a total beginner. Back when I didn't know a thing about the stock market, I didn't know a thing about day trading, and I certainly didn't know what an option even was. So I must have done a Google search where I landed on the free option alpha beginners course and that course laid the foundation for me my very first baby step in what would become a long prosperous day trading journey so this is me having a full circle moment back as a seasoned day trader finally ready to automate a strategy that i have been trading like a robot for the past four to five years in this video, I will give you a quick overview of my strategy, walk you through how I navigated the Option Alpha platform as a total newbie, my first bot, how it performed during the first week versus my manual trades, and then share some goals because I hope to unlock a new level of freedom as a day trader. You know what I mean? So one thing you have to know about me is that I might be the least technical day trader you ever meet. I'll get to why in a second, but one of the reasons that I think new day traders struggle so much is that the learning curve for options is so steep. I know you can agree with me. Once you sort of master what the heck options even are, then you have to master your trading platform and figure out all the right buttons to push. And now you have to put to work those two things in a live, often stressful market with your hard earned money. So for me, the way that I overcame that was to drill down and focus on a one ticker, one time frame, and one strategy. For me, that is SPX, zero DTE, and vertical credit spreads. That is the core of all my day trading income. And even from there, I started strategizing around one setup, which is the opening range breakout. It's clean, it's rules-based, it's so easy to learn, and it gave me the discipline that I needed to actually grow my account without second guessing every trade entry. I'm sure if you're watching this, you don't need a whole spiel, a whole breakdown on the opening range breakout. I feel like it's kind of everywhere on YouTube all of a sudden. I know that I've been here talking and teaching about it for at least four years. There are lots of ways to trade it, of course. The way that I trade it is on SPX, at 9.45 a.m. Eastern exactly, I mark off the high and the low of that first 15 minute candle and that becomes my opening range. And then I wait. If price breaks the high of the opening range, I sell a put credit spread for a further move to the upside. If price breaks the low of the range, I sell a call credit spread for a further move to the downside. I have a predetermined profit target and stop loss. And so for me, once I enter the trade, I'm only making one more decision. And that is, am I closing it for a stop loss or am I closing it for my profit target? Obviously, preferably the second. All right, so a quick disclaimer before I navigate around my dashboard. Um, this is not a full-blown option alpha tutorial. This is just my first week of using the platform and trying to navigate through the features. And this is probably my very non-tech brain clicking around a bunch of times, but 
it's the honest to goodness way that I approach this and how I got my first bot going. I hope I don't regret this, <laughs> regret sharing this at least. Okay, so I'm here on the home screen and the very first thing that I did was go through this fast track. So you've got to go through this in order to find your footing because there's so much in this community, you will be overwhelmed. Um, by the way, everything that I'm about to go through is accessible to you through a completely free trial. Ooh. So I will link the sign up page. You don't even need to enter a credit card. So come and stumble along with me. After I went through the fast track, I came back here to where it says learn from other traders. Okay. And I did try to go to the bot screen and start a bot from scratch. And I spent, spun my wheels for a while trying to do that and decided I'm just going to go and start with somebody else's template. That's just the best way that I'm going to learn. So I came here, went to top bot templates. And what do you know? The first thing at the top is the opening range breakout. So I click here and no joke, before I became an Option Alpha community member, I did watch this YouTube video and I was so excited by the back testing results that I started right away the next day um, trading it manually in my own account. So I'll come back to this log in a second, but this is my actual log of the manual trades that I executed in my Thinkorswim account based on the 16 minute opening range breakout. Okay, so I come here and I'm like, I'm just going to clone this bot and start from there. So I do, I hit clone. I'm not going to do it now because I don't want to duplicate the bot. And then it shows up on my bot screen. Okay, you're going to have to ignore all of this because we're just going to focus here for a second. So I clone the bot. I see it here in my bot screen. I think this was like a Wednesday or Thursday or something. And then the next morning I actually manually traded the 60 minute opening range breakout. I come back to the screen and I don't see any data here. So I'm clicking around. I'm like, why didn't this thing run? I know that it triggered you guys. I didn't even have the, the bot turned on. Like you have to turn the bot on. <laughs> so Kirk and Jack are probably watching this thinking, what the heck you missed the most obvious stuff. Okay. Anyway, so I turn the bot on. Okay. So the next morning, I'm this, I think this was like a Friday. I, um, manually traded the 60 minute opening range breakout. It wins again. I'm so excited. And then I come back and I see again, that there was no data here that it didn't run. I'm like, why didn't it trigger? Okay. So I had to reach out to Jack to figure it out. But since I cloned his bot exactly, there was a decision. Let me go back to it. All right, so he has his bot set up with these two automations. This one's running for a breakout of the high to sell a put credit spread. And this one is running for a breakout of the low to sell a call credit spread. And in both of these, he has this decision that the, actually it's here that the bot makes and he doesn't want the bot to run if the opening range candle is too small or exactly smaller than 0.2% of whatever the opening price of SPX is. Personally, I don't care how big the opening range candle is. I want to trade it regardless of how big or small the first candle is, the opening range candle. So I went and deleted this decision from my bot. And then from there, it started running. So these are um, the positions that it took. And I just like wanted to compare them to the actual trades that I took because of course, like I want it to mimic my manual trades near exact before I get this thing running in real money. So here is my log again. It's super basic, all right? So I just have, you know, entry times, exit times, the time in the trades. The thing that I'm doing differently is that I would rather sell a 10 wide credit spread than a 15 wide credit spread. And I'm using a profit target and a stop loss. 
And in my real money account, I'm trading small size, but here I'm trading, you know, I started off at one, of course. So things that I need to adjust is the width of the credit spread, the quantity of the spreads that I'm taking, and my profit target and stop loss. All right, so this is me taking baby steps, basically crawling, because I have to laser focus on one bot before I can get the next one going, which is going to be the 15 minute opening range breakout. But I'm really excited about this 60 wide orb. I have been trading a similar version of the 60 minute opening range breakout, but um, I've been trading the 15 minute opening range breakout for a long time. Like this is my log. I'm somewhere like almost to 650 logged occurrences of the 15 minute opening break range breakout. So anyways, my next steps are to revise the bot. So it's mimicking my real money trades. Uh, like I said, change the width of the strikes, the quantity and the profit target and stop loss. And then once I have my 60 minute orb of bot running smoothly, I'll work on my 15 minute opening range breakout bot. All right, I forgot to point out that the bot picked the same short strikes that I did in my uh, manual trade. So on this day, I was short the 6405 and on this day I was short the 6410 and it replicated those exactly. So of course we were long different strikes because I was doing 10 wide, it was doing 15 wide, but then the credits are actually similar, similar too. So I sold mine for $1.40, it captured $1.35. I sold mine for 85 and it sold it. It sold that 15 wide for 95 cents. So, oops, this is actually wrong. So anyways, that's very promising. All right. I could speak for hours about how great vertical credit spreads are, how amazing the opening range breakout is, how options have changed my life, um, but I won't. And if there is one criticism that I could share or that other traders have shared with me about the way that I trade is that I can't set it and forget it. So some traders can automate their process in that way so that when their entry order fills, they can set up a take profit or stop loss order, you know, a bracket order, and that is the end of their process. I haven't been able to trade that way, unfortunately. My process requires that my eyeballs are on my trade for the duration of my trade. So. Being able to automate that would be life-changing, seriously. Also, to be totally honest, I haven't had much of a desire to change the way that I trade because I actually like day trading. I actually wake up in the morning excited for the opportunity to make money in the stock market. So I don't trade every day and I have just created this incredible balance of being a wife, a mom, a business owner in my real life alongside of my day trading. Um, yeah, I just, I'm so grateful to have developed this skill set. I am so thankful to my younger self for sticking with it because there is nowhere else in the world where you can build wealth like you can in our stock market. And I think it's so important to remember what a privilege it is to be able to pick up our phones and access this kind of wealth. Okay, and lastly, I know I'm new around here, new to this channel, but I have been on YouTube and I have been on social media trying to do two things. Show new day traders that it is possible to make money in the stock market with a simple strategy. And two, to normalize small profits, normalize small position sizing. Somewhere in this world of YouTube and trading gurus and Lamborghinis, like we have lost sight of this. For me, any day that I take more money out of the stock market than I put in is a huge win for me. <laughs> I don't care if it's a hundred dollars. 
If you think that the average day trader is out here making $5,000 in two minutes, then respectfully, you might need to log off of social media. I tell people all the time, it is so easy to make money in the stock market, but it is easier to lose money. If you show up and you trade with rules and discipline and you respect the market and you manage your risk, that is the way of the professional successful day trader. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please join me at Option Alpha or hit subscribe. If you're already a bot pro, please share your knowledge. Um, I'm a simple gal. I'm a real person. I'm an average day trader just out here sharing what I know, trying to make it in these streets, these Wall Streets. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.